Oh, oh, Corona. Oh, Corona Rock. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Corona update of Jurassic World Alive. Yes, yes. Oh, the world is dying. It's chaos. There's no shelves. Well, there are shelves. There's nothing on the shelves. They're all gone. We've got things closing down. Jurassic World Dominion stopped production. That's completely halted. But in Jurassic World Alive, there is a silver lining. Jurassic World Alive is, of course, a game like Pokemon Go, where you go outside and you go catch dinosaurs or dart dinosaurs. Uh, if you didn't know already, and you're on episode like 55, this game has actually added something that I, when I first saw it, I thought that was ridiculously amazing that I'm going to be able to break the game. But after I tried it, um, it turned out not to be, and uh, it actually killed the game slightly for me. <laughs> so, what am I talking about? What is the corona update, apart from we the coronavirus is going around? We basically the flu in layman's terms, um, which of course more deadly to older people. And yada, yada, yada. We're not here to talk about the coronavirus, we're here to talk about what Jurassic World Alive is doing during the coronavirus. So, if you open up a regular uh, six hour free incubator, now inside them you get a giga scent. And if you have, if, you, if you've been staying away from the game at the moment, I should have said this very start, I'm, f I'm two minutes in, oh no! If you have stopped playing Jurassic World Live, now is probably the best time to play it. A normal incubator, five minutes. And that's a daily one that you get, you get two every day, usually. It does like the event things anyway. A large scent, like every other scent, only lasts 20 minutes. And of course, we'll give you a, a random assortment of global uh, dinosaurs as well as dinosaurs that are local to your area. So if you're in area one, area two, area three, area four, that sort of thing. Now, Gigascent is the new one. It lasts for three hours. Now with sense, you have to move around. Uh, in order to spawn two creatures. If you stay in one place, you'll probably get one every two minutes, right? Wrong! You don't have to move around at all. You get two creatures every two minutes. So, if you are playing uh, this as sat at home, and you, you're darting two creatures every time, you're basically non-stop darting. There will be probably about 15 to 20 seconds in between darting where nothing happens. Then two more creatures will spawn, dot, 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 and then another 20 seconds break, and then you're back to it for three hours. Now, I did this um, not too long ago because I, I was like, wow, this is amazing. Yes, something to exploit. Not really. I, <laughs> for a start, I started darting everything. But if we look at my DNA, uh, what, what have we got? There we go. Okay, Raptor, I've maxed up. I've got this this guy, I've got too much DNA. I've maxed it. Uh, Majungasaurus, maxed it. Nundagosaurus, maxed it. Basically, all of the commons, Irritated Gen 2, stuff like that, all maxed because they're the ones that usually spawn, depending on what your area you're in. So it, it pays actually to go to an area that you know you need dinosaurs and just wait there for three hours. And that way, especially if it's still off or Gen 2, which we will need for the new Titana Boa hybrid, um, just constantly get those. And that's what this is going to be good for. However, you may be also thinking, okay, every two minutes, two dinosaurs, that, what, that's a max of 30 darts in two minutes, four minutes, that's 60 darts. Within what 10 minutes you've you've used your 140 dart limit well if you look at the top left you'll see i have 701 darts out of 140. um i know for a lot of people that this is not news like new news but for some people that may not know about this it is so if you go into your regular uh, market and you scroll all the way to the bottom there it is it is just refreshed 350 darts that's crazy this update is really really good now I'll tell you what I got for my uh, my Giga Incense, because I, I did it up to about 20 minutes and then my phone died. And I have the charger pack on my phone as well, so I was doing it for the full, the full amount of time, just darting, darting, darting. Eventually, I only dart one dinosaur per turn, because I was like, I don't want to dart Majungasaurus for the 50th time. And that's kind of what killed it for me. The fact that I was doing this so often, and I was seeing the same dinosaurs like, Ugh. Now, if you haven't played the game much, or you don't have too much DNA, this is great. This is going to allow you to grind for raptor DNA, tarbosaur DNA, or whatever, wherever you are. But you can also get these darts, which is going to be really helpful. Uh, two wards, so we can just buy for 100. Now, we're going to max up over 900. So once we get 900, we've got 999 plus. I should have an extra 100 nod darts on top of this 99. Now, you'll see the top 1,051 darts I have. So even though it says 99, so 999 plus, 
don't be as, don't be afraid that it's gonna max out, or at least I still have over a thousand, so you can definitely get over a thousand darts. But what I'll do is I'll just quickly dart this Hatsokoptrix. Once we dart it, I'll buy the next set. So what you gotta make sure is just to log in every day, uh, collect your Giga Sense. Now, if you really want to, um, like, just grind this game, you can for hours and hours and hours. If you're a kid, this is perfect, because you can get home from school and just be like, three hours, three hours! I'm like, well, depending on what time you go to bed. Or if you're quarantined because of this coronavirus, it's perfect. It's a match made in heaven. You can just be like, dot, dot. I mean, you'll go insane. But, hey, it helps. So, <laughs> we're going to scroll down uh, all the way. To now, you get two per day. You get two buys a day. So, make sure every day you do log in and you do get these. Um, now, for instance, our alliance is doing really flipping well uh, with the rewards, actually. We're about to finish up here. Um, but we almost got rank 9 on Expedition, and that would have been a new record, and we're pretty darn close. These sorts of levels is because of the Giga Scent and because of the darts, and i got to say thank you to everyone who has participated, has actually made the effort to dart more because of this. Uh, I'll put up like some screenshots of what my levels were when I first did it, because it was like, blue, 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 blue. <laughs> it was like almost half the bar was my blue. Uh, so if everybody in your alliance does it, like sets off a three hour incubator, um, it's a good job. You can crack out like five ranks in a day, in three hours, probably, just with the expedition. Um, and I'm sure some people who have super uh, active alliances will be able to do that, no problem. Um, so that about wraps it up for the Corona update. It's really good. The virus is bad, but this has actually made this game really good. And Jurassic, really good, really good, really good. Pokemon Go implemented a thing where they have bought one, you can buy it one time and it's 30 incenses. I've played both games. I haven't played Pokemon Go for a long time, but I played it at the height and I played it for a while afterwards. I prefer Jurassic World the, alive. And I know it sounds biased, but the fact that the battling is so unique, it is basically Pokemon with speed, uh, armor, defense, attack, nerfs, you know, all this stuff. The graphics are better, which is never a reason to be like, oh, it's a better game because the graphics are better. But um, I think it, the system, there's more stops or drops as they call them in this game. Um, but I don't know. I think if, you're, if you've been on the fence about playing Jurassic World Alive, now's the time. Now's the really the time. So we have got Dilophoboa up to level 20. So, and I have almost five pops. I have four pops of this thing. We are going to give Spino Constrictor some fusions. Fingers crossed. We're definitely going to give it one. So let's just go ahead and just try doing some fusions. So 20. So we got guaranteed one pop for Spino Constrictor. I think this is the, the creature that everyone should be just going towards just to unlock it. Because if we get a tournament where you can have unique creatures, it might be viable. Let's say mods don't work, but if you've got it unlocked, you can use it. And the tournaments are a great reason to just actually unlock creatures. Because you might be like, okay, this is my team. I'm going to have Trichosaurus, Ehrlichosaurus, and they're the only things I'm going to go for. You know, as well as the, the rest of the team. But this gives... Oh, is that it? Do I have one more, one more try? Ooh, I have one more try. I could probably actually, really, maybe, just possibly, <laughs> um, go into my sanctuaries and just feed some uh, Titana bows, actually. Because I think I should. Yeah. I'm only a little bit off. Do I have any? Please. Oh, yeah. There we go. There's my DNA, baby. <laughs> you the goat. It's horrendous. It's horrific. But it keeps me out of copper's reaches. <laughs> and there we go. Well, that's one more try. 5, 10, 20, 30. Yeah, it only gives me 33. And that's not enough to do another pop. So we might as well just go back into the DNA. Find a laughable. Where is it? Yeah, we need a fuse. One more time. Come on, 20. Come on, 20. Come on. Ah! Oh, you buggy. Of course. Of course. Well, that's the way it goes. So we're going to do one pop for Spino Constrictor. Now, we need 250 in order to unlock this beast. So we can't get it in one pop because I think the highest you can get is 100. Or at least the highest I've seen is 100. What are we going to get? Only first try. <laughs> Duh, you knew it. <laughs> but getting there. Getting there, getting there, getting there. Uh, I've also unlocked some new creatures. <gasps> I know! Shock horror! I've actually done it. Um, the new one is this guy, the Badger Badgertonodon or Badger Tonodon. Badger Tonodon, Badger. One of those. Oh, it looks gorgeous. Mmm, very spiky. They look like brittle spikes, they look like dead coral. 
Uh, superiority vu vulnerability. Ooh, interesting. That's good. Bellow, that's good. Devastation is really good. Regeneration, when it's got a swap in heal, that's immune to bleed. Ooh, this thing's really good. Uh, speed, not so great. Only it has no armor. But it might have a lot of health. Mm, possibly, possibly. Not quite that. And this guy, this guy as well, I saw used in one of the tournaments. Really good creature. I can't remember how it was used. Oh, he looks kind of cute. He's got lovable eyes, except for the, 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 the teeth. Teeth kind of, uh, no. <laughs> uh, persistent ferocious strike, so that's the mammoth. Mutual fury, that's good. Defensive shadow rampage, that's good. Bellow, very good. Immune to stuns and immune to damage over time. And on heal... Uh, when opponent leaves, cleanse self and heal 25%. Ooh. Could be pretty decent, actually. That's a good one. But, but, but. Oh, we got another tournament starting in a while. And I need to actually put some speed on something. In fact, actually, if I open up these, I should be able to put speed and health on uh, my creatures, I think. It depends what I get, because it's random, isn't it? I forget. It's the daily incubator that we get. Ah, that was speed. Right, and I can actually level up some things, so let's see. Um, Magnetator, oh yeah, the Gripo Sutures thing just happened. Uh, that's pretty decent. I hope you, well, it was Gripo, Swords, Gripo Sutures, was it? Gripo Sutures or uh, Diplo, Diplodocus that you could dart. I went for Gripo because I've already got Gemini, Gemini Titan. I've already got that thing unlocked and I'm okay. I don't see a use for it. It would be like a health tank and I've, Kind of going for Ardentus Maxima anyway. Uh, and Trichosaurus, so that's two kind of tanks on my team. And I don't want to make a third one. So, didn't really do too great. Now, he's got 150 speed. I'm going to hold off. And I'll tell you why. The new event that's coming up this week is the St. Paddy's Day, St. Patrick's uh, event. So, uh, on Monday to Wednesday, I'll probably put it up somewhere. <laughs> is it there? Did I did I do the edit thing? Maybe. Uh, we got Dini, Cheris, Gallimimus, Velociraptor, and Phosphoracus. Out of all those, Phosphoracus is probably the one you want to go for. Then, we've got some incubators, which are pretty decent. Tuesday is a good one. Tuesday is the uh, an epic incubator. Then, on Wednesday to Friday, you have a choice out of Delta, Klenikin, or Orth Ornithomimus. Um, I'll probably go for Klenikin. Oh, never mind. Klenikin doesn't have anything yet. Um, Delta, I think, is the uh, the Allosinraptor, I think, or the Alloraptor. Ah, yes, it is the Alloraptor. And the Alloraptor is pretty decent, but seeing as I have 43,000 Delta DNA, I'm okay. <laughs> um, so I'm probably going to go for Klantnikin, because Ornithomimus, which is the Proceratomimus, I've already got. Um, and then on the Friday, there's a good one. Ooh, a good incubator. On Thursday, there is a St. Patrick's Day incense which could be pretty decent. And then Saturday to Sunday, the weekend, which is what everybody waits for, um, is, ooh, there's an expert incubator as well, is Blue Darwinopterus and Proceratomimus. Now, I'm not going to go for Proceratomimus because I've already got it maxed. Darwinopterus or Blue? I'm going to say right away, the majority of people are probably going to go for Blue because that's what you need for Indoraptor Gen 2. And almost 100%, Everybody's waiting for blue. Everyone's waiting for blue to appear somehow. So I think that's what I'm going to go for. And I've, I'm almost 100% sure it's probably, unless you've got it maxed, what everybody else is going to go for. If they don't, probably Darwinopterus. Pro Ceratomimus is really good, but Indoraptor just has way more versatility when it comes to other animals or other dinosaurs that you face up against. So let's do some battles. I'm going to save my boosts. Probably for this weekend, because I'm going to dart as many blue, as much blue as I can. And blue shouldn't be too hard to dart. The raptor model doesn't really have too much variations. Maybe it's on its foot. I could be wrong, though. If it is on its foot, that's annoying. Um, but adding the speed to Indoraptor Gen 2 is necessary. Not 100%, but as long as it's got 140 odd speed, once you do that, like, strike, you get a speed boost. So you're already, like, 150 speed right off the bat. Um, ooh, this isn't very good for him. Ooh, dear. Can he go for a crit chance? Is that what he's gonna go? I mean, yeah, he's gonna have to. But even if he gets the crit, which he does, it's not a great deal of damage. Um, right, I'm assuming he's probably gonna switch something in. I could go for the big strike, but I'm okay. I'd rather, I'd rather, yeah, I thought he was going to. Oh, Draco! Ooh, interesting. 
I'm seeing them more often now. I don't know why, but I think people are using Draco a lot more. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to go for my big one because he's going to go for a generation. I mean, I don't know why. If I was him, I would have just... Yeah, I'd probably do the same. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing really you can do. You might want to chance it just in case I went for the little hit, thinking, ah, I can easy finish him. Oh, that's not what I wanted to be. Oh, Dennis Maxima. But one of his dinosaurs is almost halfway dead. Um, now, our Dennis is going to reduce my speed. Because he's worried about my Magnetator, so much so he's putting up a health tank against it. I'm going to save him. I'm gonna save him. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch in Trico because we get the is it 30% armor? 30% Oh definite strike? Interesting. Well, um Betty's hoping he or Betty's wishing that he didn't go for that and he'd went for the other one. Oh, that's a lot. Oh half health. Oh, oh Dentist Maxima's not too great. Oh, hasn't got a crit yet. Mm. Now what's his attack? Right, he can't kill me, but he's got a good chance of getting a crit here. Oh, another 110. I got... I'm sorry, 1,110. I'm just going to go for a regular hit. If I survive... I mean, I'm expecting a crit. <gasps> oh, that's unheard of. Three attacks from our Dennis Maxima and not a crit? Ooh, that's really unlucky. That's really unlucky. I think I think this should be an easy win. It depends what his other creature is. Duh. Okay, okay. Well, I'm going to... Um, I have to go for instant invincibility. I was thinking about instant distraction, but then I thought he could cleanse himself. And that's probably what he's going to do. Oh, he didn't. Ooh. Right then. Well, we're going to do some damage to him. Oh, and another crit. And you know what? I might as well just stay in. Oh, why did he went for it? Why did he go for it? Why? I could have at least done some damage to him. Okay. I'm just making sure his ferocious strike wears off. That's what I'm, that's what I'm timing him out here. Um, right, so he's probably going to go for a cleanse. Um, and you know what? Uh, hmm. Yeah, okay, yeah. I probably should have... I didn't expect him to do that. I, I Like, why? Okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um, I will now go for... It's not the best. I would have rather had something else instead of this guy. I can't remember his name. Oh, instant distraction again. Okay. He's probably going to go for instant invincibility right after this. I would assume. Um, I might as well stun him though, right? I might as well stun him. At least I'll do some damage. I know that this is his only good creature left. And I've got Ulicosaurus. Not Ulicosaurus. Ulidomimus. I've got Ulidomimus. Um, and I've got a Magnetator, which could do like 2,000 and odd damage straight off the bat. Oh, he didn't get stunned. Of course, he's going to cleanse, isn't he? No? Oh, he went for his instant invincibility. Oh, that sucks for him. Okay, well, fair enough. Um, what should I go for here? Should I slow him down? I'm going to slow him down. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably going to kill me because he might go for Ferocious Strike here. Oh, is he going to go for it? Oh, he does, but he's still got his uh, nerf on him. Oh! <laughs> okay, what do I go for? I'm just going to distract him here. Oh, he got... What's he doing? This guy's doing the weirdest plays. Okay, fair enough. I can do some damage to you. I'm going to be instant distracted again. Um... And now I'm just going to go... For, I'm just making sure I can kill him in one hit with my... Uh, Ehrlichosaurus. Ehrlichosaurus, sorry. There you go. Do I get a stun this time? I get a stun this time. There we go. Okay. Um, now it's, he's probably going to go for instant invincibility. Um, I'm going to presume he's going to go for instant invincibility. I'm going to presume that. And I'm going to predict it and go for Magnetator. Yep. Who didn't... Oh! It, <laughs> all right. Fair enough. <laughs> And we'll just go for the nullifying, because he might go for instant Wait, why? What's this person doing? <laughs> okay, fair enough. I mean, I might... I could have went for my instant distraction there, but... Well, not instant distraction, yeah, then. 50% damage reduced, but... 
Hey, I'll take that. And an eight hour incubator, hell yes. Also guys, don't forget to go down in the description below, uh, click on the link with the device that you use Jurassic World Live with, and you'll get 50 free books, courtesy of yours truly. And until next time, I think we're gonna leave it there for the coronavirus update. We've went over the St. Patrick's Day. Apart from that, there isn't like a great deal that I can show you apart from spending three hours <laughs> darting. But I'll save you the time. If you ever just imagine just Majungasauruses, Nodosauruses appearing. I tell you what I did get though. I got one Spinosaur Gen 2. Um, and I got a, two Coolosauruses. Is that it? The epic? Coolosuchus? Coolosaurus? That one? Um, I think it's Coolosuchus. And I got one T-Rex, I think it was. So I got four, which isn't too bad. It could be worse. But anyway, guys. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, stay safe. Bye.